Hey guys, Ariel over here on a beautiful fall day. What is mostly beautiful about it is that it's actually, you probably can't tell, but it's raining just a little bit and I think it might start pouring here in a second. We've had lots of cold weather, um, I think 22 the other night. It's probably 50 something right now, um, but there was no rain in the forecast at all and if you saw my post about the fire that is not too far from my house, it is not just to reassure you all, it is not threatening my place. Um, the wind would have to completely turn around backwards and it would have to, to jump a river to get to my house. But everything has been tinder dry here. It has not rained in months. And there was no rain in the forecast for at least another month. It's been windy. Um, there's about three big fires actually, but the biggest one is now about 50,000 acres. It has burned a bunch of homes. Um, no lives have been lost, but a lot of damage, closed a major highway for a while. Um, not sure what it's doing at this moment, but there's rain coming down and there was none in the forecast and any moisture we can get would just be awesome. I hope it pours. Um, until it started raining, I've been working on firewood, cutting up all of my big um, chunks there, splitting them. I just closed all this up out of the rain and have that side of my shed full to the ceiling. Got a lot more to go, of course. Um, leaves are all turning. The uh, garden is almost entirely empty. Just a few kales and leeks and um, Brussels sprouts, pretty much. That's what's left. And yeah, so that is what is going on around my place. Um, oh, and there's a little peak, if you can see it. The start of another project I'll tell you about in another video. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a look at what's going on around here, let you know that I am okay. Hopefully everybody is very, very careful with any kind of flames and sparks because things are brittle dry, but I am just so excited that it's sprinkling on me, even though it's making me shiver, and I am now going inside, but I hope it pours. It makes everything sopping wet because after breathing everybody else's smoke from around the west for four months of the summer now, part of Colorado was on fire when I still had snow on the ground. Um, it is just uh, kind of disheartening to now have fires right here as well. But thankfully I am safe and I do keep a cleared, you know, green space around my house for that reason. And I could hitch up to the house and move if I need to. So hopefully all of you guys are not washing away, not um, burning up and enjoying your fall. I am just super excited that it is raining here. I've been trying to get videos done of everything, but sometimes I'm just too busy. I made a bunch more of that carrot soup, like the last recipe I'd shared, and um, canned quite a bit because I had so many I canned 10 gallons of carrots. I've never had such a productive carrot year. Um, you know, cleaned the rest of the beets, got onions all braided and hanging to dry, actually cut all the rest of my herbs out of the flowers there, even though they're still blooming. Things are starting to freeze with all the temps in the low 20s. Um, so hung all the remaining herbs up to dry. Let's see what else did I do. Put all the potatoes away that I had left. It was just one crate. I could have used a few more of those. Um, and yeah, firewood and just, just trying to get all this fall stuff done before it turns from fall into winter. Though it's been unusually warm, unusually late for us because normally at this time of year we would actually have snow on the ground already. So uh, that's what I've been up to. Thanks for watching folks. If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, Check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time.